Young and the restless spoilers reveal Phyllis's daring plan as she tries to break into Sharon's house to plant a wiretap. Phyllis is determined and determined, never one to take defeat lightly. When her son, Daniel Romolotti, is accused of murdering Heather, whom he loved, her heart is torn apart. Daniel's pain goes beyond losing Heather, and he also has to face harsh accusations of a crime he did not commit. It's like rubbing salt into a wound that hasn't healed. Phyllis, with her fierce love for her son, knows that she must do everything she can to protect Daniel from this tragic outcome. Phyllis knows that if Daniel is convicted, not only will he lose his freedom, but the life of her niece, Lucy Romolotti, will also be in danger. Lucy has already lost her mother, Heather, and Phyllis can't imagine the child having to watch her father go to jail. This spurred Phyllis into action, not only for Daniel but also for Lucy's future. She knew that solving this case was not just a legal battle, but also a battle for her family. In Phyllis's mind, Sharon Newman became her number one target. Phyllis had long suspected Sharon of being involved in Heather's death, and she could not sit idly by while the police solved the problem. Daniel tried to warn his mother against interfering with the investigation, but Phyllis was not the type to sit around and do nothing. Although Daniel was concerned and found his mother's theory far-fetched, he knew that there was no way to stop Phyllis once she decided to do something. Phyllis began to plan. She needed to find a way to gather evidence against Sharon without being detected. Sharon was a private person and very good at hiding her emotions, so Phyllis knew that she had to keep tabs on Sharon secretly. This gave Phyllis an idea, she needed to know what Sharon was thinking, especially when no one was around. Phyllis decided to spy on Sharon, and not just from a distance. She needed to know what Sharon said and did when no one was looking. This led Phyllis to consider installing listening devices or even hidden cameras in Sharon's house. If Phyllis could see what was going on behind closed doors, she believed she could expose Sharon. And then, her opportunity presented itself. Sharon began having strange arguments in her own home with a non-existent person, Cameron's ghost. This was a hallucination caused by Sharon's mental instability, but Phyllis didn't care. What she did care about was Sharon's confessions and her conversations with Cameron about her role in Heather's death. Phyllis carefully recorded every detail. In a tense confrontation with Cameron's hallucinations, Sharon confesses that she did everything she could to cover up her role in Heather's death, and that she framed Daniel at the instigation of Cameron. Phyllis stands on the sidelines, listening to every word Sharon says, each one a part of the puzzle she is piecing together. But then, a strange feeling comes over Phyllis as she realizes that Sharon is more than just a scheming woman. Sharon has completely lost control, and her madness is undeniable. Sharon believes that Cameron, a long-dead man, is still alive in her mind, and his presence haunts her every thought and action. Phyllis is able to gather evidence that Sharon admits to framing Daniel, but this also means that Phyllis faces another problem. Sharon can use her loss of mental control to defend herself in court. The tapes of Sharon arguing with Cameron's ghost could be used to prove that Sharon was incapable of knowing what she was doing. A defense based on insanity could save Sharon from a serious sentence. Phyllis, despite realizing this, has no intention of stopping. She continues to stalk Sharon, determined to find more evidence to prove Daniel's innocence. Despite Sharon's possible use of her mental state to get away with it, Phyllis believes that somehow she will find a way to bring Sharon to justice and clear her son's name. Phyllis's life now becomes a series of sleepless nights as she watches Sharon's every move and tries to piece together a complete picture. She is not only fighting Sharon, but also the legal system, which, she knows, is sometimes unfair. But for Phyllis, justice for Daniel is not just about finding the real culprit, but also a fight for the truth and for her family. Phyllis has no intention of stopping. She continues to follow Sharon, determined to find more evidence to prove Daniel's innocence. Despite Sharon's possible use of her mental state to escape punishment, Phyllis believes that somehow, she will find a way to bring Sharon to justice and clear her son's name. Phyllis's life now becomes a series of sleepless nights, as she watches Sharon's every move and tries to piece together a complete picture. She is not only fighting Sharon, but also the entire legal system, a system that, as she knows, is sometimes unfair. But for Phyllis, justice for Daniel is not just about finding the real culprit, but also a fight for the truth and for her family. With each step, Phyllis gets closer to the truth. But she also knows that, on this journey, she may lose a lot. Daniel warned her not to get too involved in the case, and that if the police found out about her covert actions, 
she could land herself in legal trouble. But Phyllis couldn't stop. Her love for Daniel and her desire to protect Lucy from a miserable future if her father were imprisoned had turned her into a mother willing to risk everything. But Phyllis's fight wasn't just a fight with Sharon or the legal system. It was also an internal battle. Phyllis knew she was entering a land full of pitfalls, where one small mistake could cost her everything. But for Phyllis, there was no other choice. She had to go all the way, no matter what the outcome. In the coming days, the dark secrets of Heather's death would gradually be revealed and Phyllis would face more challenges than ever. But no matter where this journey takes her, one thing is certain, Phyllis will never give up until Daniel is free. Subscribe to Yonder for the latest news on our channel.